Praise the Lord, everyone. This is Apostle Chauncey Craig of Discipling Ministries, the place where we're not concerned about a building, but the building of a people. And we welcome you to your midday manor. Um, amen. We've been coming from a, 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 a subject of uh, the kingdom versus the church. And so far, we've, we've done two parts. Uh, so today, we're going to call this part three. Uh, again, the kingdom versus the church. And we've been coming from uh, Revelations, the third chapter. Revelations, the third chapter. And verses 14 through 19. Verses 14 through 19. Revelations 3, verses 14 through 19. And it says, And to the angel of the church of the Leodicean write, These things says the Amen, the fruitful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God, I know your works, that you are neither cold nor hot. I could wish you were cold or hot. So then, because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. Because you say I am rich, have become wealthy, and have need of nothing, and do not know that you are wretched, miserable, poor, blind, and naked, I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in the fire that you may be rich and white garments, that you may be clothed, that the shame of your nakedness, <coughs> excuse me, nakedness may not be revealed, and anoint your eyes with eye salve that you may see. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Therefore, be zealous and repent. Amen. Once again, Revelations uh, 3, verses 14 through 19. Now, uh, I've gone at great length to begin to uh, share with us, amen, I opened this up in part one and kind of went through and gave us an a, a overall um, picture, and then from beginning at, on, on part two, we began to go back and look at some things. Uh, there was an in-between there where we just had a discussion offline that, uh, in other words, it wasn't recorded, that we talked about um, some uh, several other things, but, but uh, we're, we're, we're back here today, and I want to say I, 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 I left us, amen, in verse, um, I want to say I left us in verse 15. I, I believe that's what we left off um, with uh, part two. So I'm just going to read that again for us. It says, I know your works, that you are neither cold nor hot. I could wish you were cold or hot, amen. And so we know that, again, that, that, that this is John uh, giving the words of Jesus, that which, which, which was given to him. And he begins to share these things with us, amen, and, and, and I begin to tell us how this, this, this is a, a really good picture of how we see the church today, amen, or, or, or that because of this last church, the church of, of, of Leodicean that John is talking about, amen, talking about this last day uh, church or where we are today, amen. Now, with that being said, um, the premise of, 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 of this discussion was to tell us, amen, that, that the way we see the church today, amen, the, the way we, we've come to know the church, the way we've envisioned the church, uh, we've grown to know it, amen, that way has to die, amen, that the kingdom of God might be manifested and, 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 and begin to thrive because the people of God, us, me, you, uh, we have a church mindset, amen, most of us, amen, in lieu of a kingdom mindset, and therefore it is a battle between the kingdom and the church, amen, hence our subject, the kingdom versus the church, amen. Now, I know I said a mouthful, but let's go back and begin to look at this, 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 this text, amen. He says, I know your works, that you are neither cold nor hot. I could wish, I could wish uh, you were cold or hot. And the last thing that, that I, re I recall telling us is, is here uh, uh, Jesus is, 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 is saying that, hey, I could wish it. You know, um, you got all these other things. You know, I, I talked about, uh, I believe I talked about, uh, about knowing your, your, your good works, your bad works, and, and all those other things, amen, and, and how we, we have a tendency, amen, to have our works uh, 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 on display for our church, for our leader, for our uh, different ministries and whatever, but 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 uh, Jesus is saying, hey, but but they're, they're, your works are not about me. 
Amen. So where am I in your works? Amen. And I begin to tell us, amen, even when we look at the church today, we know that it's true, amen, because people can tell you, amen, about their bishop. People can tell you about their uh, apostle, about their pastor, whatever the case may be, about their assembly, about their denomination, amen. But, but, but rarely, amen, do we really get a chance to hear what God is saying, amen, to the people, amen, or are we exalting God, amen. We do it in the way of song, Amen. Yeah, we, 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 we do it, and we, we sing these songs. Amen. We, we do all these other things, but our heart is yet far from God, just like the church of the Odyssean. Amen. Especially for those uh, uh, larger, amen, or major uh, ministries, amen, that, 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 that uh, because, again, those people, it, it, yeah, go back and listen to them. And I, I highly recommend that you go to uh, listen to one and two, amen, to further understand what we're talking about. That way I don't have to continue to repeat it, amen. But I'll say to us again that he's saying, uh, 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 I, he says, I could wish you were cold or hot, amen. And so, um, and, and, and I, I, just, I just want to say this, amen, And because I, and I, I, I explained a lot, and, 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 and I want to say this, when we consider cold or hot, and I'm just remembering, amen, that uh, 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 even, even as a child, amen, uh, you, you know, hearing our parents say, don't play in the street. You know, uh, they was in the middle. They was out there in the middle of the road, amen. And one thing that, that, that you know, they would tell us, don't play in the street, amen. Uh, or even when you're walking down the street, you have to pick a side. Either you're going to walk on the, on, on, on the right side or you're going to walk on the left side. But, but never, amen. It, it's dangerous. It's a hard thing to walk in the middle. That's a very dangerous thing to walk in the middle of the street. And so what he's saying is, amen, I would rather you be on this side or that side, amen, not to be in the middle. Amen. So uh, that's the best example I can give of, of that right now. <laughs> so we go, we go press on. Amen. So uh, 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 from, from the subject of the kingdom versus the church, we're going to pick up at 16. It says, so then, because you are lukewarm and neither cold or hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. And this is a place right here, amen, that there, there's so much in just this, this one paragraph, amen. There, there's a lot. He says, so then. Because, and, and so why would he say so then? And, and he says, so then, because of everything else I just said that I could wish it, amen, and you not obey it. I could wish it, amen, and, and I begin to tell us how we can pray for, you know, uh, God will send his word over people, you know, even in, even in our house, even in our little, you know, discipling ministry, God will send his word, and, and, and we'll say things, amen, God will release a word, or, or stuff will happen, amen, and people still do exactly what they want to do, amen, and that's why we can all, we could wish that they would adhere to the word. We could wish that, that, that they would, uh, 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 it, again, abide by the word of God. We can only wish it, amen, but so then, amen. In other words, but I already know you, you, you're not going to listen. You're, not, you're going to do what you want to do. He said, so then, because you are lukewarm, amen, uh, again, because you have refused to, 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 to pick a side, because you have, <laughs> amen, all these other things, uh, all, everything that comes after so then. <laughs> he says, because you are lukewarm, because you are lukewarm, Amen. And so when, when I hit that word lukewarm, we know, amen, that, that this is in the middle. This is in the middle. And just like I said before, amen, we know it's a dangerous thing to be in the middle. Amen. It's a dangerous thing to be in the middle of the highway. Amen. You need to pick a side. Either you, you're in the northbound or the southbound lane. Amen. Don't, want, don't, don't be in the middle. In the middle, amen, is a place of destruction. And so what he's telling the church, amen, he said the church, you are postured for destruction. You are positioned for destruction. Amen. You're lukewarm. Hallelujah. He says, so then, because you are lukewarm. And he didn't ask him, are you lukewarm? He didn't ask him, are you hot or you cold? He said, I know your works. Amen. Remember, the kingdom versus the church. I know your work. I know where you are. Amen. Because the kingdom mindset is saying that, hey, this is the way that I'm going. Amen. This is the, this is the direction. My steps are ordered by the Lord, and, and this is the way we're going. God, God, God has ordained it. He said this is the way, and this is the way we're going. Amen. That, that's kingdom mindset. But the church has a way of saying, well, I want to make sure that everybody's happy. I want to make sure that everybody's comfortable. I want to make sure that everybody's able to follow 
follow along, amen? That's a church mindset. And so we're talking about the kingdom versus the church. So then, because you are lukewarm, in other words, in neither cold nor hot, you're lukewarm. Hallelujah. Amen. So he says, because you're lukewarm, we got to understand that he says, I will vomit you out of my mouth. Amen. And so, but there's a need for us to truly understand, okay, before he even gets to the vomit out of my mouth, what are he talking about about being lukewarm? Amen. And, and, and so when we look at this, we have to understand, again, that this is Jesus talking to the, the, the thing that's supposed to belong to him. Amen. The church. He says, I know your works, that you are neither cold nor hot. I could wish you were cold or hot. So then, so then, okay, because you are lukewarm. Amen? Because you are lukewarm, because you're in the middle, he's really telling them, because you're in the middle, you insult me. Come on, somebody. Amen? He said, you insult me. Amen? He said, you insult me with your singing. You insult me with your prayers. You insult me with your giving. You insult me with your, with, with, with your little uh, uh, tears running down your face. You insult me with your laughter. Amen? You insult me by having a cold heart. Amen? You insult me with your worship. Amen? And, and, and see, because the thing that we fail to understand, amen, is that for us not Amen. To, 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 to pick a side, whether, we, whether we're cold or hot, to not pick a side is saying, amen, it's, it's, it's really uh, uh, devaluing God's mercy. Amen. Because we won't pick a side. But remember, he said, I could wish. Amen. And so since we won't pick one, amen, he said, you're insulting me. Amen. You, you, you're devaluing my mercy. Hallelujah. Amen. Matter of fact, I go so far as to say, amen, that, again, we're talking about the church now. And in the church, there is a place, you know, that, that, that there was a time when the mercy seat, amen, the mercy seat, amen, was, was, was there, amen. And, 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 and when we had to put ourselves on the mercy seat, or, okay, or the mourner's bench, or whatever the case may be. But now that seat has become a place of lounging. <laughs> You say, well, where are you going with that, Apostle? I, I don't quite understand what you're saying. And see, the thing that I'm trying to tell us is that, you know, that's why uh, the, it, oftentimes when we come into our ministries today, that's why our leadership sits in the pulpit. Amen? They sit in the pulpit. Amen? They sit in the place of the mercy seat. They sit in the place, amen, where, 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 where mercy is supposed to be given, and we just kick our heels up, amen. We show our socks and we look at each other and laugh while we're sitting in the pulpit. Amen? I, 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 I hope we're hearing this. Amen? This place of mercy. In other words, we just lounging. Amen? We just kicking it with one another. Amen? Yeah, we wait for the word to come, but we having all these other things. We having the singing. We having the prayer. We got the giving. We got, while we're sitting up there lounging, amen, and many of us have failed to grab a hold of the horns of the altar, amen, and lay ourselves there, amen, and say, God, I need you. Hallelujah. Amen. But this is a church mentality, a kingdom mentality. Amen. It's saying that it, it's saying that, I'll, uh, that that I'm gonna be like like Mary. Amen. And be at the foot of Jesus. Amen. And not have the people at my feet. I hope we're hearing this. Amen. I hope we're hearing this. Amen. But the kingdom versus. The church, amen, lukewarm, amen, lukewarm. See, that's, that's the, the, the church, amen, is lukewarm. Hallelujah. And again, I told us, amen, don't misunderstand me by thinking that I'm saying that we don't need the church, that we don't need the assembly, amen. How, why would I say that in, a, in, in me being a, a, a ministry leader? That doesn't have the common sense test. But I'm telling us the way we view the church, the way we handle ourselves in the church, the, the way we, 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 we think that what, what the church is, this thing has to die. It has to change. Amen. It ha we have to have a kingdom mindset. Amen. Church reproduces church. Amen. Kingdom reproduces king's kids. Amen. I hope we're hearing this thing. So the kingdom versus the church. But look, lukewarm, lukewarm, lukewarm. And see, lukewarm is why we feel that one time a week is good enough. <laughs> amen. Lukewarm is, 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 is why when it's time to pray, amen, or when, when it's time for a prayer meeting that people don't want to show up. Amen. Lukewarm. Amen. Lukewarm is, 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 is when it's time to worship that we want to sit down. Amen. Yeah, that's lukewarm. That's lukewarm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Lukewarm. Amen. It's it, 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 it when, when, when it's time for the word to come, everybody gets sleepy. Amen. Yeah, that's lukewarm. Amen. Lukewarm. And see, let's, let, let's face it. Lukewarm. Nobody wants to be too hot. 
Nobody wants to be too cold. So lukewarm is a comfortable place. It's comfortable. We want comfort, amen? But, 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 but God is not calling us to be lukewarm. He says if you're lukewarm, look, listen to what he says now. Listen, I'm in the Word. He says, so then, because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. Amen? I will vomit you out of my mouth. So he don't want us, again, I want to go to a place where I'm happy. I want to go to a place where I'm comfortable. I just want to be comfortable. I just want come. And I, and I talked about being liberal. Amen. We just, we, we want a place that ain't going to ain't gonna tell us that our breath stink, that ain't going to tell us that, that, that our lifestyle stink. We want to go to a place where we can just be comfortable. You know, if, you know, people like to say, well, can I just live? Amen. Yeah, if you're going to be in Christ, live holy. Hallelujah. Again, the kingdom versus the church. But the church is lukewarm, amen. The church is in a place, amen, of offering comfort to people, amen. Not from the comforter. There's a difference. Not from the comforter, amen, but we're doing it out of, out of ourselves. Okay, I, I, I'm not going to say this because I want you to be happy. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to deal with this because I want you to be comfortable. Hallelujah. Amen. That's lukewarm. Amen. Now, I need you to hear this now. Lukewarm people. Amen. Lukewarm people, they just they just need a fix of religion. Amen. But they but they, but 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 they you know I just need a fix. Amen. I I I need a fix. I gotta go to church. I gotta go to church. I need, I, I gotta get my fix, man. I got I, I gotta go to church. Amen. But they still, amen. Uh, but but they're happy being in the world. Hallelujah. Amen. That's lukewarm. I just need a church fix. Amen. I just need a religious fix. Hallelujah. Amen. I gotta go to church. I got to do this, amen. I got to do that, amen. I, I, I just, I just got to get this, amen. But they still, again, I, I, I got, got a love or they're happy with the things of the world, of being in the world. Hallelujah. Amen. Lukewarm, amen, is having, having a hunger for church and church stuff, <laughs> amen, but never having an appetite for God. Did you hear that? Amen. Being lukewarm, amen, is being hungry for church. Or hungry for the things of God, amen, but never having an appetite for God. That's lukewarm. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. But we're talking about the kingdom versus the church. And I see, I, 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 I'll say this, amen, lukewarm, amen. And, and, and see, and, and, and maybe you can follow me like this. Uh, when I think about Judas, <laughs> amen, Judas did enough, amen, to be with Jesus, Amen. Uh, uh, to, to be to be to be called a disciple, but he still had his mind on his money and his money on his mind. Amen. In other words, Amen. He was lukewarm. Jesus. Amen. So he did enough. And what I'm telling us, Amen. The church, Amen. Where we are today, and I talked about this last day church, Amen. The church is saying, okay, I'll do enough, Amen, to be called a church, Amen. I'll do enough to be recognized as a church. I'll do enough of singing. I'll do enough clapping, Amen. I'll do enough prayer around the city. I'll do enough, but I still got my mind on my money and and, and, and my money on my mind. In other words, I still got my hand in the world or my foot in the world, Amen. I, the world still has a hold of me, amen, instead of me being a, 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 a kingdom-minded person, amen, where, where, where I'm doing the things of God, I'm going to allow God to have my life, to use me and do whatever he wants to do with my life, amen, instead of having a kingdom mindset, we have a church mindset, hallelujah, I hope this is making sense to us, amen, hallelujah, but there, there's a difference, amen, between kingdom and church, and hence why we're talking again about the kingdom versus the church, amen? And so, again, so, so I, I believe that Judas is a good example of, man, of someone that was lukewarm, amen, because I believe that he really did love the Lord, hallelujah, amen? But, but he still, amen, had his hand, he still had a love of money, amen, which is, again, root of evil, amen, the love, hallelujah. So I love God, amen, and, and I'm going to be with him enough, amen, to be called a disciple. And so this is how you find many of us today in church. That's why so many people can claim Christianity, amen. Why? Because they have a church mindset instead of a kingdom mindset. Hallelujah. Amen. In other words, yeah, I go to church, I'm part of the church, my name is on the road, but I can still do whatever I want to do. Hallelujah. We're liberal. We're lukewarm. The church Amen? The kingdom versus the church. But let's deal with this second part. We're still in verse 17. 
amen, uh, no, excuse me, 16, amen, he says, so then, because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. And see, I like that. I, 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 I like that, this, this, you know, I'm really noticing this because I, I have a way, me personally, Chauncey, amen, have a way of saying hot or cold. But I notice that this thing is systematically, amen, saying cold or hot, amen. So uh, 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 forgive me if I say hot or cold, but I notice he says in verse 15, cold or hot, and then he comes back and says, in 16, it says cold or hot, amen. So uh, that's what he's saying, cold or hot, not hot or cold. <laughs> amen. It's important, to, amen, that we, that, that we say it right. Amen. It's important. Hallelujah. Amen. So, once again, so then, because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. And so many will say, well, why would he say that? Why, what, what does vomit have to do with anything? Why would Jesus even, even talk about vomiting? And, and see, again, I told us, amen, to, to anytime we don't look at God's mercy or we don't have a value, amen, for the, for, for the altar, we don't have a value, amen, for, 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 for the things of God, amen, we're really saying uh, that, uh, for, especially for, for, for the church of the old saying, saying, hey, and we have need of nothing. In other words, you don't need my mercy. You don't need me. You don't, you don't need God. You have, we have devalued that. Amen. Even the, 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 the altar, so to speak, we have devalued that. And so what he's saying is if, 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 if you're not cold or hot, he said, I will vomit you out of my mouth. Amen. And so when I looked up that word vomit, amen, I, I, I really wanted to understand it because, amen, it's easy to, because we know what vomit is, to think we know what the definition is. Amen. But when we look up the, 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 the biblical definition of vomit, it means repulsed. Amen. It means repulsed. It means showing utter rejection. Utter rejection. It means uh, desiring total separation. It, it, and lastly, it means to reject with extreme disgust. Amen. So what he's saying is, amen, listen to this now. Remember, he started in 15 by saying, I know your works. Amen. And so, what we, and so when we look at this, we have to understand that he's saying that I know the works. Amen. I know the works of your church. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. I know the works of your church. They are neither cold nor hot. I could wish you you yourself, you and your ch the church were cold or hot. So then, because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. In other words, I, I, I will repulse you out of my mouth. I will, I will show you utter rejection. Amen. And so who wants to, who, who ever thought that God would, would, would show a church, amen, because, again, we've been fooled to think that every church is of God, amen. But listen, he said, I will show utter rejection of, of this church. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, I, will, I, I want total separation from this church. Hallelujah. He said, I reject with extreme disgust. I reject this church. Hallelujah. Amen. And so you say, well, so we say, well, why is that important? Why are you getting excited about that? Because we have to understand, again, he's not coming back for that type of church. Amen. The church is designed, amen, for, for its leaders. Amen. It is the place where we assemble, amen, to come in and be sharpened, amen, to be trained on how to do ministry. But we were never called to look like the church. Amen. We are called to be the bride of Christ, and we're called to look like the king. Amen. I told us earlier that the church looks like the church, but the kingdom, amen, looks like, amen, the, king, the king's kids look like the king. Amen. And not like the church. Hallelujah. So we're, we're called to be a kingdom people and not a church people. Hallelujah. Amen. I know many people will get angry for those that will have an ear to hear. I know that they're going to hear. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling me, I'm telling us again, amen, that we're not supposed to be looking like our church. Hallelujah. We're supposed to be looking like the king. Amen. We're supposed to be looking like Christ. Amen. The church, again, is to, is, is, is to train us. It's to help us. Amen. It, it's the place uh, to sharpen us. Amen. And, 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 and help us to be better in the things of God. Amen. The kingdom versus the church. The kingdom versus the church. Hallelujah. Amen. The kingdom versus the church. 